Whatever I say. <laughs> we needed you yesterday. <laughs> now we can relax. Now I can go to lunch. So we're seeing her both wreck in the. You have vehicle. no idea what a hole you leave when you disappear. Me. <laughs> Doing another pilot change, so uh, give us a give us a minute here while we uh, get organized, and then we'll give you your bow shot. Barely, we've gone from the stern to the bow now on one side of the ship, on the starboard side of the ship. Okay, I'm back with you, Jamie. Coming right. I'll do that, Dave. We'll want to take a look down the pan up and down the. Uh, the length of the anchor uh, shank and stock here, and then I want to get a, I want to pull wide and get a view of the wreck from the bow. Roger that. Dave wants uh, Lavalva wants some of those to go along with our zooms. Roger that. Water is so incredibly clear today. It's great. internet and the fact that there's people out there uh, checking stuff. Doug Jones sent a link uh, for an 18th century uh, apothecary's mortar and pestle uh, made of marble uh, at www.frenchtreasures.net and what's awesome about it is that not only does it look almost exactly like it, but we could buy that online for $280, which is a heck of a lot cheaper than going through the problem of archaeological recovery and conservation. <laughs> Uh, but think of the fun of all that conservation. Can you guys post a link to the event log for us? That's great, Dave. Once you get positioned uh, in that spot and uh, get close, I want to kind of do a survey of the anchor from far field to the to the ring. So we don't want to get too close, but we're parked. Great. So. Uh, why don't, we're going to want to shoot down the shaft towards the ring. Okay. There's some perspective that there's two pieces to this. It certainly looks that way in the mosaic. So, Got it. The video. Let's uh, get a zoom, please. Zooming. So all kidding aside about purchasing it, of course, this whole you know, thing recovery of something from the wreck has nothing to do with what it's worth in terms of the 280 bucks for the antique more the question of the context of this one sitting in the wreck and the stories that it might tell. And what happens oftentimes for folks, you know, listening out there is oftentimes people see things on wrecks and they think of it only in terms of what it might fetch. In actuality, while the antique, which has been kicking around and passed from house to house and now being offered for $280, has that set value, in many ways what we're seeing on this wreck is price. We can tilt down slowly, yeah. Dave. Yeah, I have a Everything question. Everything else that we've got on this wreck, together, all of these things in their context associated with this ship. Yeah, you know, let's get a, a zoom story. on Sirius, please. Tell a story. Pushing on Sirius. Tell us more about this ship. Tilt a little who bit, was on it, what Just tilt down just a smidge. And that's yeah. why, as archaeologists, we try to keep things together, study them that's as a good. collection. And if they're recovered, after we go through the conservation and treatment in the lab, when they go on display in a museum, just as we're finding them now in this almost museum-like setting at the bottom of the sea, you can also appreciate that together in a display that ties the entire story together. Thank you. Would there have been a mushroom-type anchor in this time period? I see an eye, which is either a lead line, perhaps, or could it be the top of a mushroom anchor? And we're talking just to the left of the uh, left, or uh, top, up above the uh, left-hand fluke of the anchor that we're looking at. Is that the, what you're looking at, Dave? He's referencing oh. Sirius's view. Well, I'm going to bring my lasers right on to... Yeah, there is an eye. eye. There's a pretty good-sized eye there. There's an eye and a yeah, shape. Yeah, we were just looking at that. Can we zoom on that when you get a chance? Yeah, a little more I'm, zoom, please. Let's do a zoom button. there, Dave, Which when camera? you get a chance. D2. Okay, let's hold that for a sec. Panning left. 
It's a pretty heavy metal object. The question is, what would have had an eye and looked something like that? I mean... Well, in modern times, I would say mushroom anchor, but I don't know if that's period appropriate. And since Mary's on the phone, um, we were calling these crabs Fenerai. If you want to take a look You're at right. them. right. That's what they Fenerai. are. Thank you. The little white squat lobsters Coming belong right. to a genus called Munidopsis, and they are blind. Although they have eye stalks, they have no pigment in the eye. Munidopsis. Pull back a little Thank bit, you. Roland. Okay. Quite a lot. Hold Quite that. Of, uh, and I can give you more detail on those dark objects when the white's not in the view. I'm just going to return to the anchor shaft. I was yeah, just let's, let's get the anchor done first, and then we'll start... Uh, Looks like the shaft is broken there. Yeah, it, it is. Whether it's broken, it's the same piece, or it's another item, hard to say. But if you know, look at that in the way it's coming down in contact with that other piece of metal. Okay, pull out just a little bit, please. Yeah. Good. Is there something blue underneath that jar? There certainly is. There is something blue underneath. That looks like another piece of plate. And we will take a look at it. I think that, I think the ring broke, I think that anchor broke, both shaft and stock broke. And, and, and it rotated 90 degrees and the ring part of the anchor is flat. And I think okay. both of them broke and you're seeing uh, the near piece 90 degrees from the other, from the rest of it. Hey, Jamie, can we zoom in on the, the little, uh, that lo okay. looks like a smaller ring that's protruding out at the top of the okay. ring, the larger ring? Zoom. Right. Yeah, well, let's, let's zoom right in where the lasers are. That's a good hold. Is that where you meant, Fritz? Yes, sir. We might have some limpets on this glass yeah, jar on the right. That? You think you got? I think it's a folding stock, and I think the stock yeah. is broken, but I don't think the shank is broken actually. That have been. That might have been where the, the stock crossed. But yeah. It, yeah. broken. Okay, pull back just a little bit, please, Roland. Can we, can we pan, zoom oh, out, and then do you see between the ceramic and the iron, you see the blue in there? Yep. Yeah, we got it. Just about to 11 o'clock? We've got it. Between the ceramic and the anchor ring? Okay. Can we back peek in into there? Yeah, we're, we're, we've seen it, and we're going to take a look. Perfect. Yeah, Jim, I'm looking at the photo mosaic right now, too, and it's a very obvious, um, the breakage there. That's modern trash in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, well, really. No, it's not. Oh, really? nope. I think so. Could be. I, I, we can't get better than that anyway, so it's... I hear you. Do you see? 
see over to the left what looks like fabric? Lost the picture again. Yeah, if you could pan left, uh, Dave, uh, there looks like fabric in the in the near field view at your eight o'clock. Yeah, coming left. Mary, that must be something on your computer because we still have the, both feeds, the I one and the I two. I don't know whether that isn't another piece of hide. No. No, it's too dark for hide. Jim, any uh, would you like to hazard a guess as to uh, possible fabric? Philippine uh, t-shirt material. Philippine t-shirt. <laughs> Construction <laughs> company. <laughs> Do we need anything else on the anchor? No, we're good. Let's come out halfway. Rolling. Let's come out. Oh, there's a picnic on it on that piece of fabric. Yeah, we have to I think we want to take another. Uh, let's make sure we get a good view down the hall, Dave, Marshall. before we uh, move away from the bow. We're not moving away, but before we leave this view. Okay, come out some more, please, Roland. Just to put a voice right. recording there. Just there. before you zoomed out, there was an isopod uh, crawling around on that piece. I got a screen grab of it. That's good because I didn't see it. Yeah. It's Getting a, got a lot of line fouling uh, artifacts in the okay, bow come out here. Some more, please, Roland. Mary, has your screen come back oh, yet? I... Yeah, it just popped up. Uh, I'll see if I can get full screen. Yeah, maybe if we slide around a little bit to the right, Dave, and get it right down the midline. I'd like to, we need to see the other side of the bow anyway, so. Headed there. Anyway, you can flash that isopod back to me. I may, I may be able to. Let me work on it a little bit. All right. Get sent to you by email, maybe. Okay. Mary, if not, I can, I can have the guys on the ship do it. Okay. Co-pilot now. Yeah, that's great, Dave. Go ahead now. So yeah, once we uh, a, a little more to the right, southeast. and then we'll just take a good look down the hall. Mm -hmm. To the southeast. Rise up a little bit. And then uh, what would what's your pleasure, everyone? What do you want to do next? Yeah, to work you around the hall. I don't want to go straight. The biologist might go like east. to take a look at um, yeah, they've been the going. list of these demijohns. The last move was some east, some but I don't think you want to go east. Dave, it looks like there's some discs underneath these the, are the bacteria. Bottle. These are the demijohns at my okay. 6 o'clock, right? So what, what are you yeah. proposing? We'll do uh, it. Like ten ten meters bottle. to the south. Yeah. We'll do it. So one three five. Yeah, that's great, Dave. Okay. And then when you're set up, uh, once we're done with this, I want to zoom in on the green glass demijohns, both of them, in your in your six o'clock position. Come on in, Roland. There we go. One of them looks like it's still got its cork in. Partial two shot. Bridge, nap. Video, can you bring out Cirrus just for a minute? One of them yeah, looks. These pressures, I doubt. You know, actually, no, no, Jeff, I, I completely agree. But one of them, one of them looks broken. The other one doesn't. Out. Fifteen meters. Yeah, and southeast might bring us farther away. We might want to go more towards the east. Alicia, what were you calling bacteria here? Maybe somewhere in between. The two okay. that are in the oh, frame no, no, right now don't really have it. Some, of, some okay. of the other ones, like the one that's just behind the yeah. NOAA logo, have a lot of white um, I see bridge, bacteria now. right on the inside yep. of the lip. But several of them have it. Oh, Thank I you, see. video. You uh, can uh, yeah, zoom, bring please. it back in if you want. Yep. Hi, could we have yep. a ship move, please? That's one, good. five meters. Bearing one zero five degrees, zero point one. Particles or scalp pellets. Negative one five meters. Okay, a little more zoom. And bearing one zero five. Hi. Okay, going for the glass is doing a nice job of reflecting the lights from D two. Got barnacles on the lip of that demijohn though. 
ship moving. <coughs> ship moving in progress. Type of filamentous bacteria, is that correct? Hey, Steve, that one on the upper right has its tentacles extended. Yeah, I see his feet sticking out. Sure. I, and that does look bacterial, that uh, white, very vegetal-like. Why it would be there, I have no idea. Yeah, but there are multiple of these bottles, have it. More, much more so in this rack than any of the others. It appears to go down inside the neck of the bottle some It has been proposed that these may have been, especially if this cargo did come from Mexico, that these may have been a cargo of mezcal. It does look like it's going into the neck. Yeah, pull out just a smidge, will we? And what were we saying we thought that was? Bacterial? No, no, but I mean, the, it looks like there's a stalk of something going inside the... Uh, it looks like the white bacteria is going in inside the neck of the right, bottle, right. but I'm not sure what the dark line would be if that's... All right, that's what I meant. Pull, please roll. There was also on the sediments some of the equivalent in. type bacterial growth. Pilot ships moving. I'm going to try to see it between the bottles there, between the print. jars. Yeah, it looks like pilot. Yeah, on, it too. on your two o'clock, Dave, just up from the lasers there. A little bit more zoom, please, Ron. Like small tubes coming up from All it that. as well. Partial. Yeah, let me just get my heading settled down here. And those little volcano-shaped things on the demijohn would be a good thing to zoom in on. There's more bacterial mat there. It's like the, the filament has some more scalpelled barnacles on it. There we go. Get, we want to get some good footage right of that stuff in there. I think I've got a little more if you wanted it. Not yeah. much. Okay, let me bump right a little bit, and then we'll get some more of the stuff in there. It's a little little critter on top of that. That looks. See the segmented tube, tube there. That's the base. Has a look of uh, vestment different, even though they're not alive. Are you from Max? Well, it looks like you've got barnacles on the fishing line as well. That's amazing, huh? Yeah, you do. Uh, Jennifer wants to make sure we are looking between these big demijohns for smaller objects. So if any of you spy something on the photo mosaic you want us to try to look at, let us know. Ready for Max? Max. I'm sorry, that is Max. Okay, can you guys hear me? I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're limpets. They have that shape. For I sure. think you're right, but I can't. You're on um, I1? I think yeah. we're good, though, Dave. Let's come wide. Yeah, come on out, Roland. Yeah, I don't uh, think it's the speed, though, Mary, because ours is staying pretty stable, even though... Well, 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 that's fine. I just wanted to warn you that this mm -hmm. is what's happening. You'll get a close-up of something, and I can't see it at all. Okay. Now, is that a fish to the left there in the view? He's been stay completely stable. Can you pan left, David, zoom in there? What is that dark object? It's been sitting there. Is it fabric? What that's, is it? That's the fabric. Is we, that the fabric we yeah. looked at? Okay. Yeah, we visited that. Did we want to look at the other anchor? Looks like yeah, we want to take a look at that, too. Well, then let's slide. We're going to stay in the bow vicinity, Dave, but let's go look at the other anchor, which is in your 3 o'clock. On the move. And then we want to be looking in and around these glass artifacts uh, for for other smaller objects we might have missed. Can we take a closer look at that uh, 
that ceramic container is just coming up on about five o'clock. Yeah, let's. Uh, there's a ceramic container in the foreground, Dave. Let's get that one. Just come on in, rolling. Thank you, Bridge. Pushing in slow. Those that segmented like tubes you saw, they're definitely a polychaete, not a vestment different. Okay, thanks. You didn't see any alive, did you? A little bit more zoom. Can handle that. No, I didn't. That, I didn't see it. any alive. Mary, before you came on, we did see some uh, tube type, whether they were polychaetes or not, we don't know, but they were live and they were living on or near wood. There was a theory they might be mollusks, mollusk um, siphons. Bill and I were thinking about the possibility of those being shipworm to uh, siphons. Yeah, they definitely weren't segmented. They were smooth. Let's see inside the green bottle now. Or well, there is a mollusk that burrows into wood in the deep sea. Okay, let's pull. We have an extended, extended siphon like that, maybe a couple inches long? Could be. We have an eel underneath this anchor. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, so when you get in position, Dave, we'll take a we'll take a zoom here. Look at the eel. Look at both flukes. Look at the shaft. We lose it after a while, but okay. Let's have a zoom, please, Roland. Hold. Some right hydrates ground on the anchor. 